we've done better. I'm excited for Laker Nation. I'm excited to maybe hear my name called in Staples. Anthony Davis put on a show last night, scoring 40 points, grabbing 20 rebounds, all while battling a sore shoulder. Did I mention he only played for 30 minutes? AD became the first Laker to accomplish a 40-20 game since Shaq in 2003 against the Celtics. Dominique Foxworth in the building. How are we feeling? I'm great. Happy to be good? here. Good, good. Yeah. I like that blazer, sport coat, it. whatever like we're it. supposed to call it. Is, call it cool. Oh, is AD already, Max, the best teammate LeBron's ever had the opportunity to play with? Yes, of course, because he's in his prime. You know, uh, Dwayne Wade what? wins. Yeah, that's right. That's right. AD's in his prime. What? Dwayne Wade. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You got. I, I, is, you have any I, 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 I swear, if I, was in front of you, I press, if I was in front of your face, I might throw this water on you. Oh, you do no such thing. Go ahead. Now. Go ahead. Let go me, ahead. <laughs> we can okay, just put that down. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> Look. Dwayne Wade was perceived as a top maybe three player in the world when LeBron signed to Miami. That's why we thought, that's why they're saying not two, not three, not four, because it was like, you want to say top four player along with Tim Duncan, LeBron James himself, and Kobe Bryant, who actually, it turns out, was on the downside by then, a little more than we knew. You want to say Dirk Nowitzki, as it turned out by the end of the year. But he was a top three to five player, definitely on paper. That's what we thought. And he was still quite good, but it was pretty clear by the end of the year, Dwayne Wade was not quite that MVP caliber player that he had been. Maybe part of that was because LeBron and Dwayne Wade were trying to figure out how to play together. But it didn't turn out, like if Dwayne Wade was a top three to five player MVP, finals MVP Dwayne Wade, they would have won not two, not three, not four. It didn't work out that way, that's why. And by the way, Bosch was an all-star, wasn't considered on that level. It's when you put two of the top three or four. Like, when Le people are forgetting that, when LeBron signed in Miami, it was like, that's like magic going to play with Bird. It's too much. But that's not what turned out to be the case. In this case, Anthony Davis is in the middle of his prime. Every year, you look at all the numbers across the board, including the efficiency numbers. Even look at his place in history. We're looking at AD like... Kid, if he wins championships, are we going to wind up calling him and not Tim Duncan the greatest power forward ever one day? Already, he compares favorably, at least in the regular season, to guys like Kevin Garnett and Dirk Nowitzki and Karl Malone and Charles Barkley. Like, we're really just looking for championships to, 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 to cement his status. So it's not about Dwayne Wade at his best. It's about the fact that AD looks to be in his prime, and Dwayne Wade, by the time LeBron played with him, was something less than that. You know, it's a damn shame you're even allowed to talk basketball sometimes. I swear to God, I don't, I don't even understand it. I mean, Dwayne Wade averaged 25.5 his first year. Dwayne Wade recruited LeBron James. LeBron James didn't know how to win until he got to Dwayne Wade. It was Dwayne Wade that helped elevate him to a point where he became the superstar that he is. I'm not talking about just your game athletically. There's something inside here, and there's something inside here that comes with it. And then the year after, when they lost to the Dallas Mavericks, it was Dwayne Wade that had to go to LeBron James and said, we have no chance whatsoever on being the team that we need to be unless you are the best player. You have to take control of this. We need you to step up and accept the mantle of being the greatest player in the world that you are. It's not just about your skill ability. It's about your mental and your mental acumen. It's about the heart inside of your chest. It's about peeling some of that out. Anthony Davis can't do that for LeBron James because Anthony Davis now has to get LeBron James to help him learn how to be that dude. I don't think it's just about skill. It's about the other intangibles that come along with it. And Dwayne Wade, who was an all-star, a superstar at that particular moment in time, with what he brought to the table, there is no question to me that Dwayne Wade at this juncture, maybe three years from now, whatever, we'll be singing a different tune. But at this juncture, Dwayne Wade is clearly the greatest yeah. teammate that LeBron James has ever had. 
I think you're absolutely right. If the question is who's most talented, I think we all agree that it's AD. But Dwayne Wade was a finals MVP and won a championship before LeBron. And I think being a teammate is more than just the points that you score, the defense that you play. Because Thank we you. all agree that Dwayne, Dwayne Wade fell off a bit as while LeBron was there. He was not the same defensive player. He wasn't the same offensive years. player. But, yeah, towards the end of their run there. And that's part of the reason maybe why LeBron left. And we know that he was not the same offensive force or defensive force. But helping LeBron mature to the, to the champion that he became that he became and the leader that he became was in part because of Dwayne Wade. And being that friend that he needed in that situation was in part because of Dwayne Wade. So it's hard to measure those things. I think when you go to stats on the floor and the unique player that Anthony Davis is, there's no question. I think that everyone would rather have a healthy, productive Anthony Davis in his prime as far as on the court skill over Dwayne Wade. But that's not what we're talking about. Well, we're talking then about there's a way to a measure it. Then there's a way to measure this, guys. By the way, I hate doing this, and we all find ourselves on this program, uh -oh. like, arguing against the guy we love, because all props to Dwayne Wade, who had the greatest final since MJ when he won finals MVP against the Mavs that first go-around. He's one of the baddest to ever step on the court. That said, there's a way to measure all this stuff, which Bill James, by the way, calls the BS pile, right? Like, we do anything you do, any point we want to make, we, we start talking intangibles. They were together for four years. There was no other super team in the world back then where you could point to three guys of that caliber like there later was, right? Like in Golden State, there was no team quite like that, as great as the Spurs were, as beautifully as they played basketball. Show me a team that had two MVP-level players and a third perennial all-star, future Hall of Famer, unselfish, willing to make sacrifices, guy like Bosh, and shooters that were willing to play for league minimum on a Pat Riley franchise. They went to four straight finals. Guys, they were supposed to do that. They lost twice. They were two and two. If anything, if we had to be honest about what they accomplished, did it hit the mark, exceed, or maybe not quite hit it? We would say overall, as, a, as kind of ridiculous as it sounds, it was probably not quite as successful as we thought it would be when they first signed. And the only reason for that, in my view, is Dwayne Wade was past his prime. Because we thought the Dwayne Wade that was going to be playing with LeBron no. was the MVP no. level guy that we saw. And he no. was not quite that no. because he was getting older. No, no, he was hurt. He was hurt. If he never got hurt, then your point is valid. Sure. No, he got hurt. I don't give a damn if you're 23 years old. If you ultimately get hurt and physically you're severely compromised, that's what the situation is. And that's what happened in Miami. You bring up Mike Miller. Mike Miller dropped seven threes uh, in, in, a, in, a, in a game five closeout game, if I remember correctly. The next year he could barely stand up for crying out loud because his back was out. You can appreciate that, Max Kellerman. Sometimes <laughs> the back goes. Okay? Really so up. we see it. it's a situation where you got – the injuries ultimately is what derailed them, which is why I say they did not underachieve. Because if they were healthy those four years, your argument would be far, far more right. profound. That was not the case. But, well, if but he was healthy also, those four years, I wouldn't have an argument. But you're also arguing against yourself. If you're saying the way that we measure that is by how many championships they won, how many championships has, has AD won ah. without LeBron, and how many championships ah. has he won so far? So you can't put him in front of him if he hasn't proven himself I, yet. You can't be a better teammate right. if the way that you want to measure is by championships, and he's won none, and no one even thinks clearly. that they're the favorite right Dominic, now. Dominic, clearly. I'm not talking about the track record of you them as teammates. The, no, that's the question. We're talking about a four-game sample. Yeah, no well, we can, kidding. We can talk about he their... He not we can, proven it yet. We can a lot talk of about their careers. We can talk about their no. careers prior but to they, LeBron joining them, and no one would AD, argue that, that a way didn't have a better was, career up until that point. AD was not on a championship-caliber team in New Orleans. Let's be realistic well, about this. you're the this. one that brought AD up you bringing up four and, games now, you Max. You're the one that used a four-game sample to say that it was a better teammate than Dwayne Wade. AD and LeBron, LeBron who's on the downside, in a league where many teams have two superstars on them, unlike the league back then, it is not an apples-to-apples -apples comparison. AD, based on his play in recent years, is in the middle of his prime, which should continue for the foreseeable future. Dwayne Wade was not the brand name Dwayne Wade that we thought LeBron was signing up with. He was still an all-star, but he wasn't an MVP caliber player anymore. So if you want to bring in teammates showing LeBron how to 